will promote Pantalan by posting pictures on social media and will be a spokesperson of how beautiful our Hinaog is and of course of how determined and brilliant the Hinaogans truly are. Thank you! You got me all in my feelings. I'm feeling some kind of way. And now that you got me here, there's so much I want to say. Like, I hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, and yes, I'm back finally. Exactly a year ago today, I was crowned as Binibining Ngog Tourism 2019. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing to you my whole journey. We'll talk about my preparations, my thoughts and feelings, my realizations, and my experiences before, during, and after the coronation night. So this is very, very close to my heart since it's my first crown in a prestigious pageant. And at a young age, I did not expect it at all. For me, it was so impossible to reach. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. And I've waited long for this moment to come. So without further ado, let's start! So ito na nga guys. Bakit nga ba ako sumali ng Binibining of Tourism 2019 and paano nga ba ako nakasali? Supposedly, I would be joining this year pa. My tita and tito decided na sasali ako not until I'm 18. So, dapat sa madaling sabi ngayon taon yon. But, last July 7, 2019, I received a phone call from tito. Gabi siya tumawag. He told me to pack my things kasi we will be flying to Mindanao tomorrow. So, ano ba ako ngayong gabi? Tapos, bukas, flight na namin. So, it means, kabili na siya ng ticket. Sabi ko, bakit po? Sasali daw ako ng binibiling ng tourism. So, I was so shocked and nalutang talaga ako. Hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko and it was really a rush. So, I went straight to my room and picked my best clothes. Bahala na si Batman. So, wala akong what ifs and whys. Basta, pumunta ako diretso sa kwarto ko and yun, nag-impake ako ng mga gamit. Then, kinabukasan, um, maaga kung pumunta sa Manila. Ako lang kasi si Mama may pasok na. Ang pasok ko sa namin na ay August pa. So, timing na wala pa. Wala pa kami pasok. Kaya pwede pa ako sumali doon. And after three years ata, ngayon lang ako makakabalik sa Hingoog just to join Binibini Hingoog Tourism. So, it was really unplanned. We were all unprepared. Lahat. Wala akong training. Hindi ako na-briefing kung ano yung gagawin ko. Even the finances, hindi namin napaghandaan, hindi pinaghandaan. It was really a huge risk for me to join. And my tito really had that fighting spirit na naniniwala daw siya na kaya ko and I have the potential to win. And sabi niya na mas maganda daw na sumali na ako kasi kung ngayon, magiging busy na for college kasi I'm a college student na. I think it's God's will kasi, for example, hindi ako sumali last year. Tapos ngayon ako sasali. So, hindi siya tuloy because of this pandemic. So, it was really God's plan na last year ako sumali. So, ayun na nga. Kinabukasan, July 8, 2019. Ayun, pumunta na ako sa Manila and then nagkita kami ni Tito. And then, ang flight namin ay 8.40pm. Tapos nag-post si Tito sa Facebook. <laughs> Bakit ako nalang dito? And then, maraming nag-comment kasi hindi talaga namin sinabi. Kaya pala kami umuwi ng derecho kasi I think last registration na yung July 8, dumating kami doon July 9 na ng madaling araw. Eh July 9, 2019, start na ng pictorial and shooting para sa official candidate so nakarating kami madaling araw and then kailangan ko naayusan kasi pictorial na ng morning. So, lutang talaga ako sa buhok. Wala akong practice. Hindi ko alam yung mangyayari. 
it's my first time to join a big pageant and I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to do. So, ayun, nag-pray ako. Sabi ko, Lord, if it's your will na makauwi ako dito and makasali, I give it out to you. Wala akong alam, wala akong lakas, hindi ako magaling. But with you, Lord, I know that I can do it. And yun, doon na pa natagin loob ko na gawin talaga yun and hindi na akong dalawang isip. So, ayun, pagkarating namin doon sa area ng um, pictorial or photoshoot, as in, I was so shocked kasi ang daming candidates. 20 plus ata kami noon. And it's my first time to compete in a pageant na ganun karami yung kandidata. And it's my first time to meet them face to face. So ako, to be honest, I'm a shy type pa. Nahihiya pa ako makipaghalubilo sa tao, lalo na pag hindi ko masyadong kilala or pag ngayon ko lang nakilala. Meron naman ako makakilala doon, but syempre, ilang years ako hindi nakauwi. So, naka-awkward na ka bago. And yung pictorial, all of them were so beautiful. Bongga yung mga poses nila and all, yung walk nila. Ako hindi ako nag-training, I don't know how to walk properly pa. I don't know how to pose, project in the camera. I don't have any experiences with that. Yung iba, sobrang hasana no, sa pageant. Ito, fun fact lang. Nung bumaba na kami kasi magsushoot kami sa baba, sa Rizal Park. Nadapa ako, te. <laughs> sa sobrang sabog kasi di ba walang tulog, jet lag. Das magkuday. <laughs> sa mga bisaya, diha. So, nakakahiya. And as in, sobrang nagising ako nung araw. Um, <laughs> tapos pinalta ni Tito yung heels ko kasi nga. Hindi pa ako sanay mag-heels. Sementto pa yung daan. Ang ikili kasi ng suot ko and then nagkasugat pa ako sa tuhod. Then after that, it was really a long day, no? Ang dami nang naganap na photoshoot, pictorials, makeup, grabe. We went home. Doon pa ako nakapagpahinga. Kasi, ang sunod na activity is July 15 pa. It, it's presentation of candidates. So ngayon, kailangan ko talaga mag-training kasi hindi pa ako marunong maglakad. I don't know how to walk properly. And sa Q&A also, kasi presentation of candidates and press conference, my tito trained me at home. First time niya nakita yung walk ko and he was so disappointed with my walk. Hindi ko din alam na kapag naglalakad pala ako, nafo-fold yung knees ko. Like, papakita ko dito. As in, sobrang pangit, sobrang awkward ko maglakad pala. And ang sakit sa paa kasi hindi talaga ako sanay mag-heels. Hindi din ako nag-gym, so ang bigat ng katawan ko. Kasi nga, di ba, unplanned siya. So, grabe talaga. Like, it was not an easy journey. As in, there were times na tatawag ako na mama kasi ako lang yung nandun. Hindi ko kasama yung parents ko. Tatawag ako sa kanila sa gabi. Tapos, iiyak ako <laughs> ng patago. Na magpe-pray ako, iiyak ako. Kasi sabi ko, ba't ba ako nandito? Parang hindi ko kaya. Parang hirap-hirap. Kasi, disiplinado talaga ako ni Tito. And ni Tita. Q&A. Pagkagising ko palang, kakatukan na ako sa kwarto. And after breakfast, doon na sa sala. Grabe talaga yung training. As in, feeling ko matusukan na ako sa dami ng tanong kasi hindi talaga ako sanay magsalita sa harap ng tao. So it was really a tough training for me. Moving forward, July 15, 2019, presentation of candidates and press conference. To be honest, hindi ako kinakabahan kasi I was prepared. I was ready. Nag-practice kami ng Q&A sa bahay. And I think meron naman akong bala. No? Maraming questions na tinanong. Pag alam ko yung sagot, taas lang na taas ng kamay. I did not hesitate to answer. And my tita was so happy that day kasi hindi na sayang yung pinagpraktis na namin. Talagang binigay ko yung lahat ko sa press conference, no? Kasi it's our first time to speak our minds sa harap ng mga judges sa panel. So binigay ko na talaga yung lahat ng best ko. And it was really a great day for me. I was satisfied. And the next um, day, rehearsals na namin for pre-pageant. So we did not waste the time. Nagpatuloy kami ng training sa bahay, ng Q&A and pasarela. Siguro nag-improve naman unti yung paglalakad ko. Papakita ko dito. And then July 21, pre-pageant night. I was so nervous nung nag-makeup kami. 
and to be honest, it's my first time na mag-contact lens. <laughs> so, lahat talaga nang nangyari sa Binibining Altruism, ang daming first time, guys. It was really a great experience talaga. So, nung naglalagay na kami ng lenses, ang gagamitin daw na lens Tita Arts. Hi, Tita Arts! Siya yung makeup artist ko. Blue. Nung nilalagay na ako, kasi nag-automatic yung mata ko na magsara. Naliit siya pag pupalapit na yung lens. So, ang tagal namin natapos. Hindi naman ako marunong lagay sa sarili ko. So, thank you so much for your patience talaga, Tita Arts. Grabe talaga yung experience na yun. Nung nalagay na, sobrang banu ako <laughs> kasi ang ganda. Start na yung pre-pageant night. So, we had our production number and um, the preliminary Q&A. It was a given question sa amin. So, it just judge sa amin ay stage presence, the way we speak, kung paano naman na yung sarili namin, you know, and the thought and idea of our speech. So, the tourist spot or the word given to me was Rizal Park. So, sa bahay, syempre nag-prepare na kami and I really practiced it well. Fortunately naman, nung pre-pageant night, hindi ako nag-stutter and hindi ko nalimutan yung pinag-practisan ko. So, it was a great performance for me. And then, pagkagbukas ng gabi, July 22, coronation night na. So, nung gabi yon, syempre may swimsuit. <laughs> to be honest, first time ko magsuswimsuit din, guys. And kinakabahan ako kasi hindi ako nag-work out and so conscious about my body. Kasi hindi ako fair skin, may mga baby fats ako. And first time ko mag wear sa harap ng tao, sa maraming tao. So that night, habang nagpa-practice kami ng pasarela, um, may mga swimsuit yung tita ko doon sa aparador. So nag-try kami ng isa. One piece siya. Sobrang... Ang sikip sa akin ha, kasi yung tita ko dati sobrang payat. And then yung tinray ko, sabi ko, oh my god, parang, parang ang pangit, ang pangit ng katawan ko pag nagsinusot ang taba ko, ganyan, ganyan. Nagpractice kami yan, awkward talaga. Sa bahay pa nga lang yun, awkward na ako yun, if sa maraming tao. And ayun, tapos sinabi ko na sa sarili ko na, sige lang, gabi naman, may makeup naman. Malayo ka naman sa tao, nasa stage ka, so hindi ka masyadong mahalata. So, ayun. Then, July 20 to 2019, it was the big night, the coronation night. Habang nag-makeup kami, habang nasa backstage ako, I was so nervous. Baka hindi ko maibigay yung best ko. Baka masayang lahat ng pinag-practice namin, lahat ng pinagpagura namin. And, ayun, nag-start sa production number. Binigay ko lahat ng best ko. And, I did not expect, no, na... I was as a production number and then announcement ng top 15. To be honest, I was really surprised kasi ako yung pinakaunang tinawag sa Q&A. Kasi ako yung unang natawag sa top 15. And the question that was given to me was about my ultimate dream. So ayun, sinabi ko lang yung nasa puso ko without hesitations na my ultimate dream talaga is to be a beauty queen someday. And to represent Chamber Hingog to a bigger fashion arena in the future, di ba? Yung talaga yung pinakamalaking may iaambag ko or may bibigay ko sa Hingong City. Magagawa ko as a beauty queen. Hindi ako nag-stutter. Hindi ako na mental block. Kasi yung talaga yung kinatatakutan ko sa Q&A na mag-mental block ako. Kasi hindi talaga ako sanay magsalita sa harap ng tao, guys. Unfortunately, I did not. So, after that, swimsuit na. Ito na yung swimsuit. Grabe talaga yung experience sa backstage. Yung talaga yung the best. Kasi hindi alam ng mga audience yung nangyayari backstage. Kasi diba paglabas ng girls, ganda, poise, project. But backstage, they don't know the struggles we are facing. <laughs> hindi nila alam kung ano nangyayari, karibok na, <laughs> mga nagsisigawan na, katakbuhan. And ayun, swimsuit. Hindi talaga ako sanay and hindi ko alam na may cape. Mayroong kapa na binigay sa amin. Hindi namin na-practice yun sa bahay. So, hindi ko talaga alam yung gagawin ko. Sabi ko, bahala na. Basta, when I go out, kung ano yung na-practice ko sa bahay, lang yung gagawin ko. Guys, mood ka ko na dapa. <laughs> Kasi yung platform, yung stage, hindi pantay-pantay. Mayroong parts doon na nakaangat yung kahoy. And siguro napatapat ako doon sa may kahoy na yun pagka-post and pagka-exit. Mapakita <laughs> ko dito, muntik na akong ma-dapa. Buti na lang hindi. Buti na lang 
na balance ko yung sarili ko. And I was really nervous that time kasi feeling ko talaga awkward awkward ko no nang swimsuit tapos madadapa pa ako so bawas spoils ta sa judges diba and then after the swimsuit competition long gown na sa long gown since it's my favorite part i can say na it's my forte kasi sa long gown slow walk lang yan eh yung pinag practice na namin ni Tito ginawa ko talaga siya sa stage and fortunately naman i won best in gown ang ganda din ng napapunta sa akin gown and then after the long gown competition, announcement ng top five finalists. Kinabahan talaga ako dito ha, kasi I was the last one to be called. Hindi ko talaga alam kung matatawag ako noon, kasi all of the girls are so deserving talaga na maging part ng top five na manalo. I'm really not expecting naman talaga to win, but you know I was praying no. I was the last one to be called, so sobrang. <laughs> Sobrang ingay nung place pagkatapos. I was so happy then no, to have my classmates, my friends, you know, my family. Ang dami talaga nila na nag-support sa akin. Kada sisigaw sila, nag-boost yung confidence ko. It was really a great help na may mga taong naniniwala sa kakayahan mo. And ayun, natawag ako sa top 5. Sobrang kinabahan talaga ako kasi I thought na hindi ako makakasali sa top 5. After nun, Q&A na agad. So, I was the last one to answer kasi ako yung pinakahuling tinawag. Habang nasa backstage ako, pinakabahan ako sa Q&A to be honest. Kasi syempre, hindi namin alam yung question. It's only um, one common question, no? Q&A talaga yung masasabi ko doon ako pinakabahan kasi namin mental block talaga ako. Every time na magsasalita ako sa harap ng maraming tao. But, sa so, dinami-dami namin napagdaan ng question ng tita ko, nireview ko lang yung mga questions. And wait lang! For a fact nang pala, yung tita ko, she joined Binibining of Tourism 2002 and she won first runner-up. So, it's really interesting, right, na sumali din yung tita ko in 2002, the year I was born. So, ayun, yung tita ko talaga yung nagturo sa akin ng Q&A and all. Lahat ng alam niya, tinuro niya sa akin. Even the way I speak, na hindi dapat monotone. So, I was really thankful to her na Grabe yung disiplina niya sa akin nung time na yun. Hindi ako kinabahan nung nasa stage na ako. Kasi siguro I was prepared. So the question was, if you will promote a potential tourist spot or tourist destination here in Hingog City, what would it be? And what will you do to promote it? So ganun. The first thing that came to my mind was Pantalan. It's really a great tourist spot indeed. And ito talaga yung siguro one of my favorites din sa Hingog City kasi sobrang accessible niya lang and ang dami mong pwedeng gawin sa Pantalan. It's really a wide place. It's really a nice place, especially sunsets and sunrise, no? Doon din kami nagja-jogging. Ang dami ko na nagawa doon. Um, sa mga friends, doon kami nakain. Every time kasi na nasa Pantalan ako, I see families eating together, bonding with each other, no? Mga bata na tatakbuhan, sobrang saya. Babarkada, ganon. Mga mag-jobels, <laughs> charot. Ano yung mga, mga reunion doon nagaganap. So, ang daming memories na pwedeng gawin sa pantalan. And then, ang dami pang food stalls na pwedeng pagpilian. So, yun yung una kong in-answer. Kasi, I know na it has great potential talaga. Yung magagawa ko lang para ma-promote siya through social media kasi it's really the fastest way no to connect with other people even na uh, hindi kayo magkakilala in person kasi ngayon di ba halos lahat na ng tao may internet fortunately ulit i did not stutter and it was really a great um, experience for me na i overcome my fear hindi ako na mental block when i was answering ang nakakatawa pa doon when i said thank you na prolong ko pa like thank you hindi ko talaga alam na prolong ko pala yun kasi parang na relieved ako na natapos ko yung answer ko ng maayos after that um nagchange kami ng gown ng mga top 5 finalists and then my last walk kami kumbaga last impression sa judges it was a white gown. It was my favorite part then ng pageant. Kasi, ang music yung Filipina girl. Feel na feel ko lang talaga yung paglalakad. Like, tapos na. Wala ka nang gagawin. Iaanas na lang yung winners. And I was really satisfied naman. I was really happy with my performance. So, 
wala akong pagsisisihan. I have no regrets kung ano mang mangyari. Kasi binigay ko yung best ko nung gabi niyon. Kung nag-final walk na kami, relax na ako. Wala na akong kaba. Nag-smile lang ako. And then, ayun. Announcement na ng winner. Sobrang tagal. <laughs> Sobrang thrilling nung pag-announce ng winners. Doon ako kinabahanin, nung dalawa na lang kami na nasa stage. Tapos pinatay na yung ilaw. And nung in-announce na yung winner, when I heard my number and my name, I mean, totoo pala talaga yon na pag na-announce na yung winner, parang nagsuslow mo effect. <laughs> parang kung nasa cloud na yun. I mean, sobrang lutang ko guys. Hindi ako makapaniwala, hindi siya nag-sink in agad-agad. Hay, ako yung panalo. Hindi, I mean, naiyak pa ako nung ininang si Winner. <laughs> Tapos yung lipstick ko pala tawa lang dito sa ngipin. Yung mga tao nagsisigaw na yung mga friends ko. Doon ako parang lutang na lutang na. Ako, ako yung panalo? I mean, I was so glad. I was so grateful lang na that I won. It was really God's plan, talaga. Hindi lang kasi to para sa dreams ko. Para din ma-repay ko, no? Yung efforts and yung sacrifice na ginawa ng family ko para sa akin. Yung mga friends ko, yung lahat na niniwala sa akin, lahat na sumuporta sa akin since day one. Ang dami nagpa-picture sa akin sa stage. Like, yung stage, parang feeling ko nagalaw na kasi ang daming umakyat. Smile lang ako ng smile. Hindi ko na kasi alam yung nararamdaman ko. Parang na talaga ako nalulutang nung gabing yun. Nung pagkabukas parade na, hindi pa rin siya nagsisink in sa akin. And then, ayun, ang daming tao. Kung mag-isa sa pick-up truck ata yung tawag dun. Kung lang mag-isa. Eh, syempre ako, may pagkamahayain pa ako. Kailangan ko mag-wave, mag-smile. Hindi ko alam kung tama pa ba yung ginagawa ko. I need to chin up kasi ako na daw yung queen and hindi pa rin talaga ako naniniwala na ako yung queen. Like at a young age and grabe talaga yung experience na yun. Like, grabe talaga si Lord, no? Hindi mo talaga aasahan yung mabibigay niya sa'yo. I mean, it's really impossible for me, no, dati na manalo ng binibigay ng authority. Kasi ang taas talaga ng tingin ko sa pageant na yun. It's a prestigious pageant indeed. I think God knows sa lahat na nangyari sa akin kasi siya talaga hindi may kagagawa nito kung ba't ako nandito ngayon. Not by my own strength, not by my own talent, but it's God's. Siya talaga yung may gawa ng lahat ng ito. It's His plan, it's His will, and I thank Him for giving me this great reward na maging binibinihing of tourism 2019. After that pageant, an opportunity came for me to join Miss Kuyamis kung lahat ng municipalities and cities ng Misamis Oriental pwedeng sumali. And I was one of the fortunate candidates. So it was really a great experience then. And before I forgot, I would like to give tips lang for Binibihing of Tourism Aspirants. Kasi for sure, maraming may mga potential dyan, but nahihiyang lumabas sa kanilang comfort zone. Alam nyo, isa lang ang masasabi ko dyan. I learned this from a legend. <laughs> Natutunan ko to sa tita ko, tita pikot ko. And hanggang ngayon, hindi ko siya makakalimutan. And naa-apply ko siya sa iba't ibang aspeto. Hindi lang sa pageants. Sabi niya sa akin, Nothing beats being prepared. Nothing beats being prepared. Totoo naman talaga yun eh. Kahit gano'n ka kaganda, kahit gano'n ka kagaling, ka-confident, if you're not prepared, wala, masasayang lahat yun. Sabi nga nila, talo na handa ang magaling. Kasi dapat may bala ka. If you really want to win Binibining of Tourism or if it's your dream to be a beauty queen someday, you need to be determined talaga. You need to know your purpose kung ba't ka sumali. Hindi lang kasi ito sasali ka lang kasi gusto mo lang magpakita sa stage. You just want to show off. You need to prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, lahat ng aspects. It carries a big responsibility. If you know na kaya mo, just trust in the Lord. Ayun. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my sponsors, no? Sir Tax of Glamour Salon and Kagawad Marlon ko. Thank you so much, no, for sponsoring me sa Binibing of Tourism. And of course, to my family, to my manang Raquel, to Tita Picot, Manong Junjun, to my Lola and Lolo for taking care of me. No, sa lahat-lahat sa bahay. 
of course, to my parents, na kahit malayo sila, pinakita nila yung support nila sa akin. Sa mga tita-tita ko, sa side ni Papa, thank you so much sa lahat. Maging sa friends ko, sa close friends ko sa Hinoog, um, to all who believed in me, to all who supported me since day one. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you God for this great reward that you have given to me. Without him, hindi ko talaga ito magagawa. Hindi ako makakarating dito sa kanaroonan ko ngayon. So, yes. I hope no, that this pandemic will end soon. And I wish no, that all of our Hingaognans are safe. I'm looking forward na makauwi ulit sa Hingaog City soon to meet our next Miss Hingaog. So, once again, I am Samantha Pauline Olaer Feranil, your Binibini Hingaog Tourism 2019. Bye! Ain't nothing in his world, nothing in his world like a Filipino town. There ain't nothing in this world, nothing in this world.